Hello, and welcome back to the Bibi Ross Project. Thank you for joining me as I talk about a famous artist and make a work of art of my own. Welcome to episode six. Today we're going to talk about Vincent Van Gogh. I'm going to paint a little painting, kind of inspired by Starry Night, but my own version, of course. And so let's get started. So he was born on March 30th, 1853 in this Brandbert, which is the village of Zandert, which is south of the Netherlands. When Vincent was 16, his uncle Vincent, who was a very important person in his life, got him his first job at an art dealership. His brother Theo, who was also a super major person in his life, also worked at the art dealership with him. In 1875, Vincent was transferred to the Paris branch of the art dealership, and this is where he became increasingly religious. He would write letters to his brother Theo, and he would include all sorts of sermons and religious excerpts from the Bible. This eventually led to him losing his job at the art dealership. So for a while, he had a job at an all-girls boarding school, and he was kind of like a caretaker, or janitor type of guy. That didn't last very long, and then his uncle came to the rescue and got him a job at a bookstore. In January of 1877, he began his studies in theology. And he went to go stay with his bro his uncle, who was also a minister, and he also helped him with his studies. But it turns out Vincent was not a very good student, and he would rather just go wandering about the streets and sightseeing than study. Vincent moved to Borneage to spread the gospel and live the life of God. He lived among the miners and their families and lived a life of poverty. He gave up everything he owned and slept on the floors. He would go around talking to the ill and uh, read from the Bible. But over time, he just wasn't able to establish a general connection with the locals. So his contract was, was not renewed and he returned home. He always wrote letters to his brother Theo, and he always drew what he saw on the backs of his letters. So Theo suggested that he focus more on his drawings, and that's what he did. So then he moved to Brussels to start studying art and studying under various artists. Vincent would spend his days studying with his uncle Anton Mave, who was also a famous artist at the time. He taught him the basics of oil and watercolors. He spent most of his days at his studio. His uncle is also the first one to give him his first commission, which was a series of 12 drawings of the city of The Hague. I kind of wiped my painting clean for a minute. I had to get rid of that green. It wasn't working for me. And I had the building and I really hated it. So we're starting over since I'm trying to do a night scene anyway. So that's kind of what happened here. If you're wondering what the hell happened to our painting, it's completely different now. So anyway, so for a while, Vincent was using a former prostitute as a uh, model. But they were also lovers, 
She also happened to be pregnant at the time, and she had a five-year-old on top of that, and he thought it was his responsibility to take care of them, so he ended up getting a place for them, and then it, it didn't end up working out, obviously, so he ended up breaking up with her. It just wasn't what he was expecting. I don't know what he was expecting, but yeah. So I just wiped my mountain away and completely changed my painting. It's what I get for not having a solid plan when I started. I was gonna do like a mountainy city scene, but it wasn't coming out how I wanted, so now it's gonna be a night ocean scene. We'll see. I think it's gonna look better than what I was starting with, so. Back to Vincent. So after the breakup, he uh, moved back in with his parents again, which was a big theme for him. And uh, he painted as much as he could, and he would send his paintings to his brother Theo at the art dealership, who would send him in return an allowance, which helped him continue creating more. In 1985, his father passed away, and then he decided to move into his art studio. And that's when he decided to start painting his first masterpiece. Well, I don't know if he decided it was his first masterpiece, but it was his first masterpiece. And it's called The Potato Eaters. It's a picture painting of five people sitting around a table, eating potatoes, drinking tea. It was very dark tones. A lot of his early work was very dark. He eventually transitioned into lights, but yeah. So Vincent and his brother had this idea to start a studio and have multiple artists live there so that they could, you know, sell their artwork at the dealerships. And uh, so Vincent bought or rented out five rooms at the Yellow House where uh, he and Paul Gagoon, 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 I'm sorry, I don't remember how to pronounce that, so I'm butchering it, but here we go anyway. He ended up being the only artist to move in with Vincent. And he and Vincent had very different ideas about art, and they kind of clashed a little bit. Vincent needed more, you know, painting what was in front of him, and Paul would paint, you know, from his imagination or from memory. Vincent and Paul, I'm just going to call him Paul because that's his first name at least, uh, tensions arose between them and Paul threatened to leave and Vincent didn't like that so he ended up threatening him with a razor Then Paul ended up leaving for a little while and uh, that night Vincent decided to cut his ear off. And then he presented it to a prostitute. Vincent ended up going to the hospital after chopping his ear off. He spent I think, a couple weeks there, but then he ended up signing himself into a mental institution, which he spent a year there. And he did a lot of painting. They gave him his own a second room just as a studio. Vincent painted 150 paintings while he was in the mental institution. It said that he painted almost a painting every day. And then after he got out, he still struggled with mental illness because, you know, that doesn't really ever go away. And he, it, it got even worse when his brother Theo told him that he was thinking about getting out of the 
art dealership business to start his own business, which really sent him in a lot of fear and anxiety, which is understandable because his brother Theo, as we know, supported him a lot over the years financially. So he just felt like he couldn't do it anymore. So he went into a field and shot himself in the chest. And then that's, he stumbled back to the house after that and ended up passing away. His brother Theo, after all of that, went and set up a memorial for him. And after that, he just grew with fame and notoriety over time. And that's my little spiel about uh, Vincent Van Gogh. Here's my completed work, my night, ocean, night starry scene. So, as I'm getting better with oil paints, this is only painting number two of oil paints, so it's a little better prepared this time. So, thank you for joining me. Please join me next time. We're going to talk about Leonardo da Vinci in two weeks. So, I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. That's not what I...